Fly Corp, how to get more cities. So there's a few tricks to getting more cities. Uh, usually, I mean, obviously, unlocking new countries will get you more cities. Uh, number two, unlock large countries, and you'll unlock more cities. So you want to start by unlocking the largest countries first, which I'll demonstrate later. And because it's expensive, unlock the large countries as soon as possible so you can get more passengers. So basically, you got to spend money. The first countries you unlock are cheap, but it's going to get to be very expensive as you progress through the game. So you want to unlock the large countries as soon as possible so you can use that income later in the game. There's a limit to how many cities spawn in each country. It used to be 25, but as of today, it is 50. However, I'm going to show you with uh, China that you can actually get more than 50. Cities will continue to spawn as you play the game, so it may take many hours of playing to see some of the cities in countries including Europe and the USA. So I have China here. It's gonna show up in a second. So this is uh, China for Flycorp, and I have 50 cities open, and it's my only country that is open in the map. It has every city connected, it's making lots of money, However, I'm maximizing the amount of money I can make. I can't make more money because there's no new passengers, no new cities, etc. So what you want to do is you want to unlock a large country, such as Russia, India, France, Brazil, the United States, Mexico. Australia does not have a lot of cities, so I really don't recommend it. I would say definitely go with India. If you do Russia, all the cities are going to be on the western side. And even Iran has a lot of cities. Uh, the African nations do not, uh, except for along the border. In general, Europe, European cities do. So when you unlock India, see how it says 800, and you do Nepal, it says 800? If you do the small countries, some of them are only going to have one or two cities, and the price is going to start going up. It's Maybe it's going to double and double and double, and it's going to be into the millions at some point. So you want to focus on the large countries. Once you get the maximum amount of traffic, unlock the large country, get all the cities connected, maximize the amount of money that you're making with that country. Do your connections to transfer people to the neighboring country, to the capital cities. And then your income is going to go up, and it's going to get to the point where you've maximized it a second time. Once all the cities have populated, all the planes are upgraded, then you unlock another country. And what will happen is as you start to unlock more countries, the first country you have, in this case China, is going to start to spawn new cities. This part is not empty. When I played and I unlocked all the countries, I had a lot of cities over here. It's actually not that many. It's not going to be completely filled like this side is, but there's going to be a lot of countries in the north, a lot of countries in the south. Sorry, a lot of cities in the north and a lot of cities in the south. And you're probably going to have more cities appearing over here uh, that have not appeared yet. Okay, so that's how you do it. If you have any questions or comments, you are welcome to look at my forum, which is cheapbooks.cc. There is a Flycorp section in Airline Management Sims under the video game section. You can search for Flycorp in the search box, and it has a lot of tips and tutorials. And I do own cheapbooks.com, which is a website for buying books and textbooks. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.